Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Topic of video today, um, why ceramic coatings aren't for me. Now, you hear lots of people saying ceramic coatings are snake oil and they're all kind of, you know, it's all hype and it's all marketing. They don't do anything. Now, first of all, that's all a load of nonsense. Ceramic coatings at their very essence, very simply, are hard setting, modernly, recently developed resins that bond to the car uh last for years and all this can be proven um and essentially they're pretty good things for if that's what you want you know if you want a protection system that's going to last a long time the debatable thing is the real benefits of having material that stays on the surface um for these years and that is the very heart of what i want to explore in this video now the biggest problem for me now let's just look at this car and just take this car as an example is when I finish washing this car and I get it inside, what I want to do is I want to whiz over all of the paintwork with something that is going to literally strip back to the bare, shiny paint, clean up that paint, remove any minerals that are left of the paint, you know, like any deposits from where it's been sitting outside, and just give me like a bare paint and, then I, and a really nice soft buff so I haven't got some really hard curing product on there that's a nightmare to buff and will leave marks and, and unless I'm really slow and careful and diligent and flipping cloths and doing 20 cloths and all that so I want something that's going to buff up the paintwork strip all the whatever's on there and give me real high gloss so that when I actually sit when I'm standing here in my garage staring at the thing like I'm seeing like nice you know like gloss and all that sort of stuff that's what I'm looking for no residues all that sort of stuff easy buff very important now the problem with why i would never use a ceramic is after i prepped my car and polished it and put the ceramic coating down after about probably four to six weeks you know of the initial bling of having a polished and coated car eventually it would start the car would start to get more progressively more tired and I'd bring it into the garage and I'd want to do something to the car to gloss it back up. I'd want to go at it with a polish to give me that real silky, fresh polished gloss on the paintwork. I'm not talking about correction here because obviously you don't want to keep hacking away at the clear car. I'm just talking about a very light scrubbing, microfine abrasive AOI type glaze. And I can't use those products with a um, ceramic coating. But wait, John, you could put a ceramic coating um you know spray topper on there and all that sort of stuff the problem is is all you're doing is just filming building up films of more product when essentially what i want to be doing is just giving it that light buff on the paintwork which is the ultimate thing to me to give me the gloss and the kind of clarity that i'm looking for with this particular car you know the scenarios like the golf where it, it can't ever sit in the garage and stuff like that and you know, something like a coating might be a better choice, but when I want to pamper my car, I want to pamper it. I can't pamper a ceramic coated car. The only exception to that is like the product like Car Pro Essence Plus, which is like a filler for, for a coating, or is that a sealant that goes on a coating? Um, but it's like a non-abrasive. It's almost like a resin in my understanding. It's not a bespoke abrasive. So really, you can't utilize abrasives on a coating because that's going to require you've only got like a micron of coating so it's going to require you to restrict that coating if you're using abrasives so there's my thoughts on all of that and that's why i don't really use ceramic coatings and all that sort of stuff um the interesting thing for me is in the summer i'm not interested in durability really at all of products again because if i put a wax on the next time i wash my car and i get it inside I want to just whiz over it with a soft pad uh, and all that sort of stuff. Maybe in the winter, in the last clean before winter, I'll do a strip down, prime it with a glaze and then put a wax on and that, that'll get me through the winter six months. And something like that finny wax there seems to, seems to be good. I've just been testing it actually because the buff is the important thing as well. Now, here's another thing that, I've, that I'm looking at today. I'm trying to decide if there's any like... Which one, I'm trying to decide which one's my favorite. Um, now, I'm kind of just kind of ruling them out at the moment. Maguire's this three-in-one wax. 
out of all of these products here, this gives you like the best protection, I think. The most noticeable like beading, which makes the car a bit easier to dry. Uh, it's quite an expensive product. I think it's about 25 pounds, sorry. It does everything well and the buff on it is generally good. However, there's like microscopic differences, but when I've worked this over the car, and I'm, I'm, I've just been using it over the bonnet, with a little dual action polisher or a little flex xfe uh, and a soft pad and i've got like the little trails of the of the product when i buff over it it doesn't all come off in one buff it just requires a little bit more buffing and maybe a flip a tiny bit more it just feels a little bit more waxy <laughs> than um some of these other products which i can literally just gently drop the microfiber on and almost like drag the microfiber with some of these other products they're exceptional whereas this is just really good so this product i'm going to rule out for me but it's a good product it's worth checking out does it really polishes fills cleans and leaves a wax down three in one decent now these two products here are both primers so they're not like they don't leave wax behind. I think this leaves an acrylic resin, the Built Hamber Cleanser Polish, and this leaves resins and fillers used before waxing or sealants. So these are more primers. This is more an AOI, so an all-in-one polish that I believe contains wax. Um, the wax that it leaves behind isn't especially durable, but it's okay. So if you want some AOI that leaves a wax behind that lasts three to six months, don't buy a triple, because the wax will probably survive, I don't know, you know, three or four washes. But I'm using it quite frequently. It's also not the wax that it leaves behind. It doesn't make this car like a bead monster, like mo modern products. You just notice a bit of kind of hydrophobicity. Um, pretty much same with all of these products, actually. Now, these two over here, the P3 and the P6, um, that, so that's a wax, an all-in-one micro finish with wax. And this, that's a single stage polish with sealant in it. I'll say here, again, the protection properties of both of these products are a little bit disappointing. The abrasive function on them is absolutely fine. Um, I had this on the front quarter of my red car and this on the other front quarter, so like on each half. And literally after a few washes, I couldn't see the hydrophobic effect and the water was almost like sticking to the car like there's nothing there so the protection side of them is not strong but they're good products and i trust koch chemi abrasives really trust these but i don't think i'll be buying these again not sure about that actually don't know don't know because they're essentially the same as their abrasive ranges but with the finishing products in them don't know sometimes i can change my opinion on them as i go through and finish off the bottles but very good products. Very impressed. I can definitely use that. I can definitely use that. But it's whether a case of I should finish with that or finish with that or finish with that and then glaze again. It probably wouldn't be worth the extra step. Anyway, just thinking out loud. These are my three favourite kind of products almost to, to kind of maintain the car with. And I'm really struggling. Really struggling. The Bill Hamble one has a stronger solvent scent which does get up your nose it's like that real polishy smell and it's a very thin liquid that doesn't dispense out of these as well as these two products where you squeeze them they're like toothpaste and you get the pasty thing on the pad whereas this like you tip it on the pad and it's like a liquid then when you start working that liquid once the pad's kind of primed and it's got some on the surface it's good and it's easy to work and it dries and when you buff it it's nice and silky it lays down those acrylic resins and it buffs really nice as well just better to let this haze off and then buff it um so pretty impressed with this very good and the probably the paint feels the best after this one you've left it for a while and the resins are set and you go you wipe the microfiber over and it feels amazing um but this one here the auto finesse triple for me has an amazing buff on it <laughs> really good i love this one i'd really miss it if it wasn't there and this one is almost like a cross between these two where it has a good level of slickness and silkiness to it after you buff it 
So yeah, it's just three really good products. Uh, essentially, I don't think it would make that much difference to me which one I keep, and I just can't decide which one, because I only want one really. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably just blast my way through this and I'm, I'm gonna be, I'll get through this. Oh, it's gonna last for donkey's years. You, can't, you use so little to do an entire car, just like tiny little dots, spread it, give it a second and buff it, so easy. These would last me years, these three products. So maybe I don't have to think about it too much, just keep all three on the shelf and just use them all up, use them, use them or lose them. Um, and they will do exactly what I want on this car. And that is when I wanna just gloss that paint up with a nice soft pad uh, after washing it, I can. And literally I'll whiz over that bonnet, you know, quarter of the bonnet, bang, 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 done. Bang, 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 done. Bang, 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 done. The whole car in about 20 minutes to 30 minutes, which is what I've done again today. That keeps it looking really, really good. And the, the trap that I don't want to fall into is polish it, you know, wax it all up, you know, start using all these spray products each week and then just building up product. And then when you go out in the sunshine, you look at it, you've got that film over the car because you've just been using too many materials. Less can be more. And I think these products are very important sorts of things that if you're really, if you've got a garaged car that you're keeping really nice, then these three products are essential. Even if you don't have a garaged car, they're nice primers for waxes and stuff like that. Great products, can't really decide which is the best one, <laughs> which is unlike me. Unlike me, if, I, if you had to twist my arm, I would probably go with the built hamber just because I have all the built hamber stuff. And it would mean less brands that I'm looking at, but then I would really, I would really miss these two. That's the sign of a good product is I don't wanna let it go. I don't wanna let it go. So there we go. Let me know what you like and what you don't like. Um, this is all old school, this sort of stuff now. And people nowadays are using SiO2 sprays and all this sort of stuff. Not everyone, obviously, but um, yeah, there's, there's dangers with those products as well. The advantage of all those spray-on products is they're just quicker, more convenient to use outside. You can sp sp hit it on the panel and just buff, and you're kind of done on that panel, where it, you don't have the sort of spreading of the, the thicker resinous product. But I think that spreading and just working gently on the machine with these soft pads and stuff um, pays dividends, and that's why I'm doing it on this black car. Again, if you rush it though and use too much product and hurl it on, and you get all your polish in there and stuff like that, you can make a mess as well. So it's how you use the products, not using too much, staying away from the edges, because I don't want to be taping this car up every week as well. You know, it's quick, it has to be quick. So there we go, I think you get the idea. Hope you're all doing good. And um, thanks very much for watching this video on uh, some considerations around why I don't use um, ceramic coatings on this particular car. See you soon. Holding on to what I knew, but the moment's gone. Where was I when you?